my hair is staticky as shit right now. Ooh. Hi ladies, welcome back to another episode of I Hauled It But Did I Like It? So I'm going to try to get through this pretty quickly because I actually have a crap load of items that I want to talk about in this episode. So it might be a little lengthy and if it is I'm really sorry but I really have some words to say about these items. I'm going to start off with the biggest thing I have and that is the Satin Care. It's from Gillette and it's a Satin Care with a touch of Olay shaving cream. I got this at Ollie's. It was $1.70. So I told you guys that I always use Aveeno shaving cream during the winter. I saw this. It excited me, the packaging, because I'm a packaging girl. So I decided to grab it and just give it a go and I absolutely love this. It is 100% taking over my Aveeno shaving cream this winter. I'm going and I'm grabbing at least three more of these because I don't know how long Ollie's will have them in stock, but it smells so good. It's in the scent Sugarberry. It smells so good and it is the thickest shaving cream I've ever used. And it works so great. My legs felt amazing after I shaved. Amazing. And usually they're kind of dry and I have to put lotion on. No. No. This this is where it's at with shaving cream. I am not lying. So I don't know if you'll be able to find it since you don't, if you don't have an Ollie's near you. If you don't, check Walmart, check Rite Aid, CVS. If you can find any kind of Gillette shaving cream with a touch of Olay in it, grab it. You will absolutely love it. The next thing I want to talk about is the Olay kind of cleanser and um, moisturizer that I got for myself and for the Facebook giveaway that I am doing. I've only tried the 7-in-1 anti-aging fragrance-free moisturizer and this has a sunscreen in it. I've only tried this because at the moment I already have a cleanser open so I didn't want to try the Olay yet. What I have to say about this item is it's great. It's the moisturizer, it does work pretty good and I guess it has an SPF in it. So I'm not going to be using it this winter and it's not because it has the SPF in it, but I think it would be a better moisturizer for the summer. It does leave your face a bit greasy because of the fact that it has the SPF in it and it can be a bit overwhelming. So I really don't want to use this right now during the winter. I'd rather just use it in the summer, during the day, under my makeup. The next thing I want to talk about, and I do have some things in this video that I have actually recently hauled and I only needed to use once or twice to know my feelings on. So this is the 24 hour Revlon Color Stay Foundation. I didn't know what dupe people were saying that this foundation was for. People have told me that it was a dupe for the Estee Lauder Double Wear, that it was a dupe for the MAC, um, either or. This foundation is amazing. It's amazing. I used it today. It completely, like, just, it, the coverage on this is out of this world. It's beyond anything that I've ever tried. It's better than that Japonesque um, foundation that I got at uh, Ulta, the, I can't talk, at Ulta the other day for 30-something dollars. This is way better. So this is probably going to be a staple forever, for always, and I'll probably have a million backups because, whew, this works. The next thing I want to talk about is a makeup brush that I hauled a while back. This is the Soho. I got this at Big Lots. It wasn't even a dollar. Um, it was on clearance. I use it as a blush brush. And at first I really liked how it applied blush on my face. It did it perfectly. I had no problems with the brush. And then time went on. This brush freaking sucks. It sheds. I've never had a brush that sheds. It sheds so bad. I mean, it's just shedding, shedding, shedding. So every time I use it now, I have to pick off hairs off my face. So I no longer use it. And then the more I used it and I washed it once, it now is all disgusting looking. It, it looks like a dead animal on a brush. It looks like they just took a dead animal off the side of the road and stuck it in this brush and just said, here you go, put this on your face. And it's hard now and it's pokey and it actually does not feel good at all to apply anything with this on my face. But I do like the handle and how it has where you can, it has three dents in it where you can use your fingers and grab it kind of like a pencil grip. And I love that. I wish more brushes would do that, but this, no. The next thing I want to talk about is a highlighter from Physicians Formula and it is the Translucent Pearls. 
Not sure if you're going to be able to see it. It is pink and it's very, very pretty. I absolutely love this. I love it. It, it pretty much, I'm not sure if you'll be able to even see it at all, but I use this a lot. Um, it gives such a nice, pretty radiance on your cheeks. Like, I always put it right here and it, when I turn, you can just see it. Like, oh, you know, beautiful. I absolutely love this. I really do like Physician Formula's um, blushes and their highlighters and their bronzers. They do really, really well with that. So, I mean, I would definitely recommend this to anyone. It's a great, great product. It really, really is. The next thing I want to talk about is a MAC Single Eyeshadow that I got off the All Cosmetic Wholesale site. And this is in Peek at You. It's just a lightly shimmered kind of vanilla color. My phone is going crazy today. But I, when I first hauled this, I said that I would most likely use it as a brow highlight and an inner corner highlight, and that's exactly what I do. Exactly. I'm not wearing it today because I wanted to try out my new Sonia Kashuk little palette that I got, but this is an everyday thing. Every single day. I'm going to have to repurchase it once I hit pan with it and it's all gone. It won't be a problem because it was not that expensive on that site at all. So this is a must-have in my collection now, and I would recommend it. I mean, it's MAC. MAC, there's just nothing really bad you can say about MAC. It's just a really good formula. The next thing is something that I got out of my last month's Ipsy bag, and it was the Indie Lee Brightening Cleanser. This cleanser, and I tried it out, um, my husband tried it out. It smells like disgusting. It smells like wet Play-Doh. It really, really stinks. It, ugh, it's just disgusting when you're thinking about the smell of it. But what it actually does to your face is awesome. I mean, it's better than the Cetaphil. I hope I'm saying that right. It's better than the Cetaphil that I use. It, I have oily skin, so I use this, and it kept my face non-oily all day. Like, all day. And it was crazy to me. So I'm definitely going to buy this for the full size. I absolutely do not like this smell. So if you have a weak stomach or you really just are off put by disgusting smells, <laughs> don't get it. But if, you know, a weird play doh -y, nasty smell doesn't really get to you, then try it. Because the formula itself is pretty freaking amazing. The next thing we are going to talk about is the Maybelline Brow Drama. And this is a brow tint. I knew a lot of people that wanted to know my thoughts on this item, so I really wanted to give it a good go before I put it in one of these videos. I have to say that this item is a complete waste of your money. Do not get it. If you get something for your brows, either get the e.l.f. Brow Kit or get the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Brow Pomade. I mean, really, your brows are pretty important. A lot of people neglect them, and they either don't shape them, they leave them crazy little hairy caterpillars, or they overly dramatize them way too crazy. Your eyebrows are so important. They frame your face. You know, they bring people into you. You don't want crazy-looking eyebrows. So, eyebrow items are extremely important. No. This... <laughs> this... Not only does it really not tint my eyebrows at all, but this little puff, this little circle at the beginning of this does nothing. I mean, if you, maybe if you have eyebrows that are as thick as that circle, if not, it's going to go everywhere. And I actually use the little pointed tip. Like, I don't know if you guys will be able to see it, but there's a little pointed tip. I use that to actually draw it with because that puff just messed up everything. It didn't do anything. It really, really didn't. The only thing that actually ended up working at all for me was the fact that it set my eyebrow hairs down so they weren't like sticking up or anything. It did do that, but it's not worth it. I have the e.l.f. Clear um, eyebrow gel that I use and it does the exact same thing and it costs a dollar. So no, I wouldn't recommend this to anyone. Your eyebrows are important, ladies. Just get the good stuff. Get something that works, not this crap. The next thing I want to talk about is the Sonia Kashuk Glisten Chick Luminosity. This is the dinosaur skin I was telling you guys about. I just recently hauled this. I used it every single day since I have gotten it. I'm in love. I have to say I'm absolutely in love. 
Um, they are so pigmented. They The bronzer looks very shimmery, and it actually is. If you swatch it, it's it's got one heck of a shimmer to it, you know? And so I was like, yeah, well, I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with that bronzer because you can't contour with it. I do. I contour with it. I contour with it every single day. The moment I put this on my face, there's no shimmer to it. And it's so pigmented as a powder that it looks like you contoured with a, um, like a foundation stick, like a cream. And it's wonderful. I would absolutely recommend this. The blush is beautiful. It's a beautiful color. This might be a better product for the summer. On tan skin, this would be out of this world. But I use it every single day. I love this. I love this. You have to get it. Just go get it. Alright, and now on to the Total Intensity Color Rush Eyeshadow that I got from Ulta in the drugstore section. And I told you guys that this was $10. I was a little like, eh, because you can get some MAC eyeshadows for $10. But I swatched it. It was amazing when I swatched it. Very, very nice color payoff. I, when I first used this, I used the NYX Milk Pencil underneath. And I didn't think that I would have to because it looked pretty dramatic anyway, but I like to do that if I use colored eyeshadows, like, duh. Well, I don't know what I'm talking about. I just like to do that before I put on my eyeshadows to make them pop. But I put this on and I layered it and layered it and layered it. It did not work. Like, I mean, it worked and everything, but it wasn't as bright as when I swatched it or how it is in the pan. There was, there's shimmer in it. But when you put it on your eyelid, it completely disappears. I mean, it is an okay color. There's nothing really truly wrong with it. It's not powdery. You know, there's no fallout, none of that. But for 10 bucks, no, absolutely not. You should have to pay maybe 3 to $5 for this, not 10 In no way, shape, or form should you have to pay $10 for this eyeshadow. It's, it's not that good. So I want to talk about the Voluminous um, Butterfly Intenza, yes, Intenza Mascara by L'Oreal. I just recently got this. I've used it every single day since I have gotten it. The brush is crazy looking. If you are the kind of person that is constantly buying drugstore mascaras because you're just looking for that one that really works, this is your girl. This is the best drugstore mascara I have ever used. When it comes to volumizing and really getting, getting your lashes up there, oh, wow, this just works. I mean, you have to try it for yourself. Um, my friend Stacey Gilbert actually has a review on this one and the other one that is um, next to this one in the store. She's got a review and a demo of putting them on. So I will leave that video down below so you guys can check it out. She does a really good job at reviewing both of them side by side together. These mascaras are bomb. You need at least one. At least one. They Both of them do kind of separately different things, but... I'm going to buy more because I just don't want to run out and this is seriously the best I've used so far. And I want to talk to you guys about the Sonia Kashuk lipsticks. I'm wearing this today. This is in Roseberry. I told you guys, you know, I didn't really care for the packaging. It was hard, you know, whatever, And but it's a beautiful color. Beautiful, beautiful color. I really, really like it. I have been wearing it for the past couple of days and I'm honestly going to say it. It has the same formula as MAC, if not better. I mean, it's so creamy. It's just like the MAC cream sheens. It's so creamy that it literally takes you just two, just like that. Just two swipes, and it's pigmented. Pigmented. <laughs> and it's just pigmentation on your lips. I mean, it's crazy. Crazy creamy, crazy bold, beautiful colors. Get one. If you don't have a Sonia Kashuk lipstick, get one. And if you do, write down in the comments below how wonderful this lipstick is so everyone can know and they can buy this because this is the greatest thing I have found in the drugstore since that mascara. And the last thing I want to talk about is something that people were pretty interested in and it is the It Cosmetic Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer. This concealer is very, very thick. It cost me $25 at Ulta. I was pretty worried because the tube was so small. But when you open it up and you go to try to use it, you really, like, you really have to squeeze it to get anything to come out. You only need a tiny, tiny bit of this. It's a lot like the Hard Candy Glamouflage. The only difference about this 
is it's so much easier to blend out and it's not as messy so I absolutely love this I mean I, I knew I would I knew it was gonna be a problem because I'm not gonna be able to afford this again probably for a long time but this is gonna last forever I mean I was worried about the small tube don't be don't be this will probably last me more than a year so it's completely worth it it's completely worth it I'm so happy so happy that I got this because it has collagen in it so when I put it on it completely zeroes out any black or purple that I have under my eyes and I have little like crow's feet and fine lines under my eyes it got rid of those too and it doesn't crease and it's freaking awesome perfect it's perfect it's what I've been waiting for in a concealer so I finally have it this is holy grail status guys holy grail status so I'm sorry if that was really, really long, but that is all of the products I wanted to put in this episode this week. I hope that I helped you guys out. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comment section. You know I always get back to you guys, and I will talk to you later. Bye!